Hello everyone, it's Derek here and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Today we're joined once again by Orc Stubbs. How are you doing? Good day, I am doing fine and look at this base. You have done a yeah. lot of progress. Uh, <laughs> wow. I've been getting on with Red Power quite a bit. Yeah, isn't this yeah. using the, uh, the sorting machine? Yeah. So under here is a sorting machine, and eventually I want to have, well, you decided to come here and put all barrels here because apparently your OCD was going crazy. Yeah, because you had barrels on, on, on this side, side, but not this side, so yes. I gave you a hand and put some but barrels. But the original plan was, I'm going to put uh, pneumatic tubes under the floor, which is coloured, so all the stuff that isn't in the barrels will get sent, like, um, the ores will get sent straight up to the macerator, uh, into the hopper, and... Um, yeah, I'm going to be working on that soon, but I thought I'd give it a break from Red Power for a bit. So I've been doing quite a bit. I've got this huge windmill outside. I don't know if you've uh, seen it. Yeah, the windmill looks awesome, by the way. I really want one, but I don't know where... Because most of my base would be underground. So, I don't know. It really suits this... Uh, mm. What would you call this? A windmill? No, it's a wind it tower. A, a wind tower. No, it's called a windmill. <laughs> well, with, with, well, with wind power. I agree to disagree. Panel. And solar panels, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, so this episode we tower. are going to be doing quarries. Quarries, are, we we we've been needing to do this for a long time. We've been needing to do forestry for a long time and quarries, but one one at a time. So uh, yeah. yeah, I've still got some stuff I've done to my base. I've also gone put all the floors in finally because before it was just a huge hollow tower. <laughs> In fact, I, I'm not, I can't remember if I showed that last video or not. <laughs> That's how. Um, what's this up here then? Well, right at the top. No, the first floor. Uh, the first floor just here. Let me uh, drop down. Wee. Oh, too far. There we go. Jetpack. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got an ender chest, um, which is pumping out everything uh, using a filter because I already had one made from when we uh, when I made the sorting machine uh, with a timer, and that's just pumping it into this chest. And this is ready for when we set the quarry up because I'm going to have everything going out the quarry into the second ender chest, which I've got in my inventory, and everything's just going to come back here. And mm. with it being pneumatic tubes, it's not going to overflow. So uh, yeah, let's go and head over to our, oh, my base, and uh, we're going to start preparing mm. ourselves. Because and there's a long preparation list for it. Um, but anyway, yeah, what are you going to say? One thing I've also done in between episodes is I've set the, uh, made three soul shards. Um, I actually only intend to make one, but I didn't realise that when you make um, use the soul forge to make one, it actually makes three per recipe, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I've got one here, which is a... Um, take a look, it's a tier three zombie. And I'm still levelling it up slowly, but... Yeah, I'm basically using zombie spawns and right-clicking them just to level it up a tier. Mm. And, That's how I did yeah. the blaze spawner, by the way, guys. Uh, if you're wondering, I did not go and kill... It's a 1,024 blazes. I think it's, yeah, 1,000. And that is very loud. I literally went to the nether and went to a nether fortress and just went around clicking the spawns, which puts one tier, which is about 100 or 200 kills onto the soul shard, which is really cool. Mm. But, I think um, it levels it up exactly yeah. one tier every time, no matter how many kills, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very handy. I mean, it's like five spawners, and obviously when you're in Never Fortress, it's not much yeah, at all. Yeah, that's easy. So you probably saw your nice setup where you're going to be pumping the quarry into. Mm. Well, this is my horrible little thing, trying to understand red power. <laughs> I've been using transposers here, and um, I've actually really got a sort of a mini turtle quarry setup, which is going to be replaced by the mm. normal quarry, because I thought it was going to be all, all okay, but for some reason there's a weird glitch where turtles are not septing different fuel when they go to empty all their inventory out, they also mm. empty out the fuel and it's all a bit confusing. So, um, yeah, so you were planning on using their uh, blaze rods mm. from your blaze spawner to power the And they, they just chucked out, they're like, nope, yeah, we are just... not having it. Mm. And also, turtles aren't 100% reliable, because every server restart mm. you have to go and manually restart Which them. Which is a little bit of a problem, but... Um, and by the way, these are transposers. Uh, Jack's using the filters, and actually, would you like to mm. have one of the... There you go. Have a have a tra have a transposer. Oh, cheers. Because that's only iron yeah, I like chest. Using the, I like using the uh, filters just because um, they, they get take a bit out up though. stack rather than. The oh yeah, you you can set it lock. to set out how much you want, mm. can't you? Which is really yeah. cool. Anyway, let's head on into the base. I've done a lot of work yeah. and. See, I know nothing about these energy cells, so you're gonna have to sort of explain it. I've brought some stuff over, but I don't think I've got everything. Mm, so uh, straight off on the base, let me just close the door a second. Added a enchantment room with a little map, and you you told me this. I never even knew this, but in the updates, there's been like map scales, and you can that make the maps exactly bigger and bigger and bigger. One point three. When I never even added. knew that. I didn't. It was one. It was not one of the main features, was it? It was one of them sort of. Well, I do. I features. used to do a lot of the snapshot <laughs> videos when the maps were added, so that's how I sort of knew the new updates. So let me let me uh, break this a second, and I'll. Like, how big can a map possibly be? That is humongous. Can I take a look at that? This goes not even... That grey thing in the top right-hand corner is the red biome thing. Wow. I know, it is it, I mean, stupid. Is... 
Mine now. That's Thank the you. biggest one. <laughs> um, I'm probably hopefully do it all one day, but you should just go around day. the server and just explore the entire server from here to spawn with maps and just make a wall <laughs> of maps oh, with the entire server. That would be really cool, actually. It to would show take the progress. Time. I mean, you'd have to make individual maps each time, wouldn't you? Yeah. But, um, anyway, it would take a very long time. To the left here, I've sort of done a bit of cleaning up. This is where we did some filler work last episode. I, yeah, you're, you're used to fillers. I'm, I was brand new to them, so yeah, really complicated for <laughs> they're me. They're a little awkward to get used to, but they're very mm. simple. I mean, setting up the little markers. I think for around about ten minutes, I was fiddling around with them, and yeah, a little bit annoying. But here is the second room, the which I'm going to be work brilliantly as quarries as well. The only problem is they drop mm. all the items and then pump them out. They, yeah, yeah, like, because in the latest patch of Forestry, um, no, sorry, no, Buildcraft, they've actually made it so the items despawn within, like, a second or so. So you do have a chance of picking them up, it's just they mm. just don't, they, you know, yeah. you can't just use it as a quarry. Uh, but, See, uh, before, if you used yeah. it from um, Floor to Bedrock, it'd just give you crazy, like, spikes mm, and crash mm, again. Because it would just literally drop all the drops on the floor, yeah. which it still does now, but not in the latest patch. Anyway, do you want to show us what you've been doing through here as well? Because I know there's been some changes. Yeah. I, I've done well. a lot of stuff around here. Look, I've uh, actually neatened it up to make it look like a proper base, not just a basement. <laughs> a cave. A, ca a cave. A man cave. You're in the Orcs cave. Mm, agreed. So, straight off the bat, we have got a computer here with iron doors without pressure plates. What does this mean? It means I can't get in. Yep. <laughs> it is now a passworded door. You can't even see me typing it. This is how... Secret says, uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> again, on this base is about as secure as Windows 8, so you just yeah. break through everything. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 8 yeah. was not secure. It well, is not now, is it? So, uh, yeah, we are here in the base, and a little update. We've now updated our texture pack we are using, and you mm -hmm. probably saw in the corner here, for some reason, every time I re log, these guys are not the, way, the right way mm -hmm. around, but the charging stations for the turtles. I've now been re-textured, uh, mm. re re and a lot of lot of things have been, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I've got the textures now for my advanced diamond drill and chainsaw. Could you uh, pass me that cool. a second? The saw. Do, 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 do. The saw, yeah, the saw's awesome. Just so Ooh. cool. I want to make like noises going vroom, 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 vroom. It used to have noises in TechIt, mm. and I, I, I've got to re-enable them. I know there's a way to fix the geothermal noise and everything, I just haven't got around to doing it And that's it what yet. I was going to go on to. On the FeedBeast forums, I don't know, someone might have saw my thread, you never know. Mm. Um, someone also commented on one of my videos as well about it. I made, I made a forum thread saying, how do you enable the sounds for the geothermal generators and stuff which are in tech, you know, the vroom, 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 vroom. The annoying you, sounds. Yeah, you know, you know the annoying sounds, so I... Someone actually replied, there's loads of oh. things people were replying for stupid reasons, but then I got someone actually answering for the right reason. So, for example, is if I... Uh, probably is. I'll pick it up in a second. But Just um, If I take the overclockers out of here and put this in... I don't know if I've got my sound too quiet. Let me turn it up. Oh, that is very loud. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the, the annoying sound. Is, though, I can't hear it. <laughs> oh. So it's just like you're talking about something that doesn't even exist. <laughs> That happens a lot these days. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, red power, well, I can't remember what they're called, redstone energy cells. That yes. is the subject of today. And I know nothing about these, so mm. you're going to have to sort of explain. Oh, you've got a ruby. Wait, when did you be able to add a ruby pickaxe to a turtle? How long has that been? I don't know. I saw uh, Q do it in his live stream. And actually, oh. quick update. Q is one of the really cool members to the server. Um, he doesn't really, well, he does have a YouTube, but he mainly streams. He streams every single day. For like six hours or so, I've and tweeted a few of the stream out. He streams. comes on right with mm -hmm. uh, another person called Zed who comes on. Uh, she's 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 the building side pretty much, and they're on for one night streaming. And the progress they have made, the base looks <laughs> awesome. And have you yeah. got any more of this dark wood here? Uh, where's that? Oh, this for is here. What's annoying me? That? Yes. Uh, there's give a lever the there. Wood. Yeah, but give give me a piece of dark wood. I'll show you some. Ooh. No, no, if you put the lever on top of the dark wood, it turns no, off no, the machine. No, it's not that, no. What's happened then? Let me, let me... Yeah, pass me some dark... You can explain that while I can't find I, I, I can't find it. <laughs> well, explain the redstone energy cells then. So yeah, the redstone energy cells, they are pretty much a portable 
MFE, I would say. I mean, they hold around about, as you can see, I've got some charged up in my inventory, 600,000 MJ. And uh, literally what you do is when we get the quarries, we're going to place them down. And when you put these NG settles next to them, it should give them pretty much infinite power. And if I just put one down here, you can see in the inventory we have two options. We have the options to lower or increase the input, so that's how much it'll be charged, and the output. So, for example, I believe you did this in a creative world, didn't you? Um, yes, I'm you, trying to. You put two. <laughs> you trying to get in? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Oh, see. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm only putting these doors right where um that only I can enter from Foomcraft. Yeah. But uh, anyway, like I'll I was saying, <laughs> the maximum output is the thing which we're going to be using a lot. Because in your creative world, you put two of them next to a quarry, and how many layers do they do? Uh, it did about six layers in about 20 seconds, but it was the default size quarry. By the way, my, my dog's like getting all pissed off of you because you broke in. Could you please put the door back? He's growling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a vicious dog. His name is... um. The Woffington. <laughs> so, so Woffington, so Woffington. Yes. I have no idea. Comment below if you want a name for him. Anyway, yeah, come in. <laughs> he's probably gonna attack me as soon as I get close. Nope, he's no, fine. he's just angry for no reason. For some reason, I don't know. Okay, just continue just, just get on. So gone, anyway, gone, here is the portal MFE. <laughs> if you if if you left click it or break it with a pick. It will lose all the energy inside, and we have, if I pass it to you here, a crescent hammer. So the way you break this Ooh, is shiny. you want to you make shift them? and right-click the block. There we go. Boom. And it, does it say <laughs> it's kept the charge, or has it lost yes, all the charge? Yes, it still says it's got 60,000 MJ. Yes, and we need to make <laughs> one more of these because <laughs> I've got two. Well, you've got one of mine. Yeah. And uh, there's one charging upstairs. Have you have we have you been up there yeah, yet? Yeah, I've got some of the stuff for you anyway for it because well, obviously I didn't have everything because you need electrum ingrets and I really don't know mm. how to get them. And actually, a good point up here. Um, we were running the production of lava of a coal using the hobby of steam engines, and I was thinking, right? I was thinking as you can convert EU, which is the build craft power. To, uh, no, wait, is it the other way around? The industrial craft? I, I don't know. EU well, is the industrial craft. Mm, and, and forestry uh, is like MJ. But anyway, yeah, so there's two different types MJ. of powers. And these electrical engines take MJ. And they're pretty much the converter. So literally what I did was through the solar panel, filled up this MFE, which put it EU. through... Or, yeah, EU. Put it through the uh, forestry engines, which then convert it to MJ. Not at a and constant rate. And And constant the... Uh, power the ma uh, magma crucible, which may be lava. Engine. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was using it for over here. I was oh. actually got a spare okay. engine now. I can put it on there. But I'll um, place it down then. <laughs> yeah, so now I have pretty much got infinite lava. Only thing I need to pay for is the never rack which I'm placing in. So it's mm. um, it's a Just pretty good. Bad, really. It's a it's like a really good way of making lava. Uh, mm. But anyway, so over here you can see these guys have stopped now because there's probably. Have you still got the hammer? Do you want to uh, break this? Yeah. Ooh, look uh, at you with your portal gun. Hammer. Look at you with your portal gun. Yeah, it's shiny. Have you told everyone about that yet? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I said about it. What? Pick this up then. Where did you uh, Where did you find it anyway? I got it from Grape. Oh. And then he lost his. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking, I was like, <laughs> do you want to pick this up? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's uh, it's probably full now. It's half full. Half full. 30, 30, 30, um, do you want to put it back? I don't know why these engines. Oh, uh, I believe they've overheated. Yeah, they've overheated. They? All we need to do is we need to oh. hit it with a. We need to hit it with a wrench. Let me. One, one oh, second, uh, me. I know which wrench you mean. Do you mean the orange one? What looks like the crescent? No, one? it's um. It might be actually. The um, craft wrench. It's one of them. You should just make an omni tool. Which yeah, I actually it. need to make one of them. Um, but it looks like a book on this recipe. <laughs> a a, <laughs> no a idea cyan what. wool, one oh, golden right. Which wrench? There's two ones, two of them now. Yeah, I know. But anyway, what happens is oh, when they're confusing. overheated like this, they they will, you know, they will become yeah. not overheated. What you do is you hit it with the hit it the wrench, and they go back again. But as I said, we these guys are screwing up, so I'm just going to replace yeah. them, and they should 
like you go and they lose the lava inside them, which is a little bit annoying, but well. But that's not too bad. You've got infinite lava as well. I well. say infinite near infinite, so. <laughs> this this one here is being powered oh, by this tank, charge. which is got well, some. It's taking a little while to charge. <laughs> mm. So we're gonna have to uh, do a couple of things. We're gonna have to make an extra energy cell, aren't we? Yeah. Have you got the materials? Do you want to? Uh... I've got some of them, but I haven't got everything. I've got some. What have you red, got right now, diamonds. then? Diamonds. We can have some redstone. Oh. My mouse went onto the other screen and clicked something. <laughs> and uh, that's everything I've got. Because mm. I didn't have any electrum. Okay then, so let's go head downstairs through my complicated system. I think you have to... Oh, yeah, this is a nightmare. Here. Yeah, I know, I only set I this up literally yeah. before my uh, before we start recording. So, you know, if mm. you want to come through here, through the automatic open door... Wait, which how's you... the door still open? Ah, lever. That's, that's the way to do it. And uh, somewhere in here, you can see I've got some hardened glass. So... I need to remember how you place this. So you place this in a star shape, and over here, I've got some electrum ingots, and I've been finding a really good solution to how to make copper and uh, tin. And all you need to do is you need to put a stack of cells, which are just yeah. made from four pieces of tin, into here, which collects them in with lava, put them mm -hmm. into the industrial centrifuge, and what yes. happens is magic. Over around about a 30-minute 30 30 period, they... <laughs> a very long time. Yeah, it's, it's like two, 25,000 seconds. Um, uh, you get wow. 40 tin, 16 copper... Um, is this even working? One... Uh, there's, there's nothing in there at the moment. Um, oh. One tungsten well, dust, and expensive. eight, I believe, electrum ingots. Mm. So, really yeah. cool system. So if you've got enough electrum to do everything, so if not, um, we're going to be waiting a long time. Yeah, I've got like two sticks of electrum. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and then you put that uh, like that. the diamonds, there we go. Uh, energy cell frame. And now what we do with this, we need to put molten redstone. Don't we? And I've already done most of the hard work. Oh, you... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I put that there. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Um, so, using the magma crucible, all you need to do is you put redstone here, and as you can see, it just makes molten lava. Oh, wow, that's, lava. Like that. that's cool. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's pretty Where cool. Where does it take it all as well, then? Does it yeah, yeah, it puts it into the, here. Uh, liquid transposer. And oh, I can it, the, it, it doesn't oh, produce cool. much per, uh, per one redstone, and I believe I've got you enough need any here. more redstone? I've got loads of it. Let me just stick that in. I think we have enough. It's, um... Well, I gave you some more. If you look inside it, it's actually you put it in now. Oh, nice. Ooh, we're watching it. <laughs> Let's go. Bam, bam, you can see bam. it's really taken away. This is a really cool thing about, um... What I what can never... Mod it, what I can mod never remember. It's either... Um, factor is like, or factor it, no, no, yeah, thermal expansion. Is it's it? um, yeah, I love their mm. machines. They're awesome. And they here we go. Replacing my new favorite mod, even though I know nothing about here it. Here we go. <laughs> the energy cell frame. And now what we do with this is we surround it in a redstone conduct. I don't even know what is that. Con the, can't you make it conductance? This way? It's on my screen, uh, it's coil. Three electrums and two lead, and a conductive coil. Yeah, that's which is electron. Was and about to say. <laughs> oh. So then you do that. Oh, 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 Yeah, you need to make the conductive coil. Um, you can use gold. One. Oh. Oh god, <laughs> these crafting tables are so messy sometimes. Um, I'm just trolling you by moving. Put that there. Oh, this is you. Oh, ta ta ta. And then is it two pieces of lead? Have you got two lead? Uh, two lead at the bottom. Wow, this looks a bit weird. Just a minute. There we go. I've got one uh, lead. I gave you the lead. Don't tell me you've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trolling you. And there we go. We have the redstone energy cell. So now we need to go back upstairs. A little bit of a complicated sort of way yeah. to make this. but um, the It's a really cool way of powering the coils. Mm. I mean, there's a lot simpler ways, but, well, this is just cool. When we get all the machines all set up to do this all the mm. time, I'm going to be making like 10 of these. So I yeah. w when, when one's powering the quarry, I can have one charging. But anyway, exactly. um, actually... So how much is this full? Ooh... You know the Is system that, you uploaded yeah. with the remote control. Um, uh, the remote charging system. Do you think you could do some sort of system? system I could try and figure something out. I could use a red pad. Where, oil yeah, yeah, and then that's what literally I was about to say. Using the filter yeah. with a full. They. Hmm, that no, could, I, I'll have to have a think about it. But yeah, that so, that uh, could work, couldn't it? That could work. Yeah. Anyway, is this nearly full? Um, no, no way near. So literally, what we're going to need to do now mm. is whilst we're waiting... Have you got one full one already? Or um, is this... Yeah, I've already got one full one now, but... Can we just set up the quarries with the one full one and then we'll come back and get these later once they're charged? We need to repair for the quarry first, don't we, though? 
Yeah, that's what I mean. We can make the quarries now. Hopefully that'll be charged by the time, and then we can put that one on there. Yeah, okay, that sounds like yeah. a pretty good so idea. So what do we need for the quarry? Um, oh, God, oh, I, I'm not even prepared for the quarry, so let me have a look then. So <laughs> to make a quarry, we... Ooh, ooh, that's we the wrong need button. iron gears, gold gears, diamond oh, gears. Oh, my God, and uh, a diamond the drill. Thing we should really work towards is the titanium, first of all, because that's going to take the longest. Where's the titanium? Oh, here we go. It's in the advanced mine drill, mm. and that is made. I've already got a drill, so I think we're just going to make one for now. You need titanium dust for that, which means you need tiny piles of titanium I've got dust. That. Uh, so you've got plenty of it. Um, yeah. We need four titanium, which is about. When you put bauxite, when you put bauxite yeah. in the electrolyzer, it creates um, aluminium and some tiny piles of. Uh, They're very tiny piles of titanium. Very very dust. tiny piles. Let me let me throw it on the floor. That's how tiny they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are so small. So if you want yeah. to put these in a crafting table, I think they're like yeah. Put in a it's four a by four, four, by four. or two by two. Sorry, two by two. Two by two we by can't two count, by three can we? Two. No. Uh, put that in We're there. We're used to counting. <laughs> that's enough. We're going to get oh, four of these. Stop. If your dog randomly goes missing, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I hold no responsibility. It's just not going to go randomly missing. Do you know what? Just so I know, you're not going to replace it with another dog. Yes. You're going to dye its collar. There we go. Blue dog. Uh, I forgot that was added. <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot that the map size thing was added and. You yes. forgot the dog collar. Have you got enough for titanium? Yeah, no, it's ready in here. Look. <laughs> you oh, are oh, too yeah, slow. Oh, yeah, it's three, but it's doing one well at the moment. Mm. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait for that. While we're waiting, I'm going to go back to my base. How long are we wait? 50 seconds. Yeah. So, so I'm going to uh, go yeah. back to my base and make all the gears and uh, we'll get be ready back to in a minute. Yeah. Hello and welcome back. So we have just been sorting loads of stuff out and we loads have of recipes. <laughs> now got our quarry all ready to keep going. Mm. Take yours and I'll take mine. Go on then, take it. You take yours first. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take I have mine. To use the used diamond drill. Oh, I see how it is now. It's got full power. It's it's the one to be used. Oh, by the way, have you got a little bit of iron before we go or a bucket? So we can make a little infinite water source in the quarry. That's a very good point. Um, I may have some... Oh, I've, I've got oh, some buckets here. Bucket here. I've got yeah, six buckets. Yeah, if you take uh, two empty ones as well, if you want. I've got six buckets. I've got enough, don't worry. Okay, then. I'll just fill up more whilst I'm here. My jetpack's um, So yeah, we're going to be heading whoa. to um, the I just, vents, aren't we? I just broke my empty... I just broke my source block. My source blocks of water. Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> Oh god, what's Minecraft turned into? How did into? that even work? I know. Element? No idea. <laughs> but anyway, you start heading over to our wasteland. Yeah. I believe we've already shown this in our episode where and yeah, how to get to yeah. it. Let's, uh, ooh, thank you very much. Oh, oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh, fun. As Nothing. that wasn't on purpose. Whoa. No, it, it, it was not. Straight through here. Um, that, the... that, that Star Boys, uh, yeah, his base sure. is down there. <laughs> His looks much nicer than ours. Actually, his that's... looks safer than ours as well. I'm going to be going on there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nothing so... really has happened to our Never Hub yet. We haven't even no. done much of our rail, which we need to do because I really want to get like a train going along there. Because oh, I sort be of, awesome. I've sort of been thinking, right? I, I, I know we've been thinking this as well. What, well, what are our main goals in Feed the Beast? Mine is to make some sort of train-related factory. I, that's really what I want to be doing. Um. And I haven't got any ideas, but something on the lines of setting up like a railway station to spawn and stuff and around the whole cool. server. I, I, that, that, in my head, seems really good. Having like, I don't know, mm. turtles which automatically place them and yeah, it's all cool. But anyway, over here is my, god, the amount of landmarks and the waypoints I've got. But anyway, it, ooh, Wait, you over there already? the world's loading really slowly. Ooh. Why is the world oh. loading slowly? It's fine for me. <laughs> Probably just my internet about to uh, break up again. Anyway, mm. over here I've got my mini turtle setup, and you can see these guys just break down here, not you know going all the way to the right block. And um, wait, who did just you got just, injured there? I just got injured. Wait, was it? Was it this guy? <laughs> what? Oh, wow! <laughs> what? Lacy little guy here. I can't even see you. You're invisible. Um, let me just relock. Re yeah, sure. <laughs> Right, there we go. Can you now see me? Yeah, you're fine now. Th yeah, this guy keeps hitting me. 
<laughs> oh, nice. Nice little guy. But oh. a really simple setup. You said you quite liked how I uh, did this, but... Um, yeah, it's very space, uh, well, look, very space efficient. There. So That's pretty much I got this probably. guy, or well, they they pretty much excavating 30 each, and like I said, there is a problem where these guys sort of throw, throw the blaze rods out after they're oh, done. they're off again. But, um... Yeah, what they do is they pump all the minerals into the chest, which pumps it around here, goes into that ender chest, which then goes back to spawn. Uh, I've got another ender chest here, which is for all the valuables, but for the quarries, I don't mm. say that's as important. And down yeah. here are just the things I've got to sort, so you can see all of these blaze rods if you look down there, which they all chucked out. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was a really big problem with them chucking mm -hmm. out. Very annoying. Yeah. So where are we going to actually do our quarries then? Um, we've got oh, a big what landscape. About the the portal? Because over here, is, well, you could set yours up that, this that, side. That, that's the reason why I did it over here, because I didn't really want to interrupt anything. I'm just looking around for sheep, see if we yeah. can... Well, do you want me to set mine day. up in the other direction and you set yours up here? Um, because that they are could be work. 64 by 64, aren't they? Well, yeah, something on the lines of that, yeah. So you could fill... Uh, from the edge of your turtles to the pine mm. forest, probably be there out. I'm size. thinking, I'm um, looking over the space right over to the other side of the pine forest nearest to our houses. Looks yeah. to be a nice little comfy spot for a 64 by 64 or whatever. Yeah, I, I think can I'm going to go into where this plains biome is and try and uh, just not cap that, but try and try and stay into the wasteland here. biome if you can. Just try yeah. and keep it all neat around here because we're destroying the ugly. That's all. That's that's Let's our plan. Let's pop this um, here and a lever. Pop this here as well. Turn that quarry off. With a lever. Oh my god, he's a, he's a quick person. How do we know Angry if it's 64, zombies. by the way? What? How do we know if it's 64 blocks? I don't know, I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, actually, does the lasers yeah. only go 64 blocks? I'm pretty sure they do. Ah, that is very clever. Yeah, we can go back a little bit with this. Hmm, I like that idea. That is very cool. And this guy here, if I go into my... Digger's backpack. I need to make the upgraded one of these. What's it called again? Isn't it called the Apery or mm. the Woven backpack? Oh, wow. Just a, these zombies are quick. What are they doing? They're, they're literally sprinting for me. <laughs> of the joy. And then we want to go this way as well. Oh, this is going to be very close to the portal. Let's put it that way. Um, It doesn't really matter. As long as we... We're literally just destroying this whole biome, so it doesn't exactly. really matter. We're not going to be going here for fun. We the snow biome if we really want to. Yeah, snow biomes are good. You you just don't like them. No, <laughs> I don't like them. They're the worst biome in the game. Yeah, I've said it. All right, so it's a uh, final landmark down in this corner, and that should be Ooh, the quarry. Oh, there's so much bloody moss around here. Skeletons. <laughs> we should have really came here in the day. Yeah, yeah we should have. Been the um, idea. One second, let yeah, me just go and kill these mobs. We can get away. <sighs> Oh yeah, by the way, you probably noticed I'm using all different tools and stuff. Well, the other day, there was a little bug which happened to me on the server where I went to the nether and I fell through the world, lost pretty much all my... I can't believe we haven't said this already, but yeah, I lost pretty much all my stuff yeah. and it was a big loss it's on my behalf. It's an rage mode. Yeah, because I lost my bags, which had all my tools and all my pressure... or not all of it, but a good percentage oh, of my wrong. stuff. I had a you know, spare MFE in there. Um, had loads of cables and loads of pipes and stuff, which was a little bit annoying, but I guess, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. I spent pretty mm. much most of the morning today going at the end of farm and... Not end of farm, what am I about? Oh, Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I just God. got uh, disconnected from the server. Okay, be right back. Just had a creeper next to me. But yeah, anyway, I had a... Um, went to the XP farm at spawn, and it was just literally, for the last two hours, just literally harvesting XP so I could get all my tools back which were a little bit annoying but I guess you know as I said it's something mm. I had to do anyway oh, have you I'm having a few problems with the server I'm gonna have to uh you're gonna have to okay. BRB are you yeah <laughs> I'll BRB as well actually I need to uh do some research on these quarries because I want to know how and what is the best way to lay this all out so yeah mm. we will be back in a second wow look at that sunrise how beautiful. <laughs> For me, it's coming into the two mountains. I've got the mist as the land ventures on. And for me, it's just a sunset. I've got a skeleton, which is going to break the moment by shooting me. Unless he dies Red first, which he did. And yeah, so yeah, we are back. Uh, Chip had some technical issues. He yes. something with the server. And I just, oh, don't you just hate that when... There is, there's arrows stuck to a block, and you're like digging around, and then the arrow falls on you. One of the worst oh, things yeah. that happen. 
Mm. So yeah. So I, I'm ready to you're... set my quarry up now. Do you want to head over here? And um, set up I'm, here I'm gonna. Do you set yours up at the same time? I've I've got my stuff all ready to go. I'm oh, about cool. to put my quarry down. Well, what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna put in oh. in the chest, and then I'm just gonna Ooh. link it up with some of this cobblestone pipe, and place this redstone energy cell. Could you come uh, over here? To... Something's happened yeah. to my quarry. When I put uh, down my quarry, yeah, it's not actually like connecting. Oh yeah, you need to uh, actually set the landmarks up so it creates the frame first before you place the quarry. Oh, down. I did. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to right click them, don't I? Yeah. Derp. Um. So what output are we putting the redstone energy cell on? Because um, you can change the output. Put them to the lowest 50. because we don't want to be coming near every time. We just like it's no, it's no hurry. They're going to be, you know. Oh wow! Did you see what's in the chat? The quarry at one four zero eight will keep loaded. twenty five yeah. chunks loaded. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I've set mine to 100 uh, per second. Uh, per that's going to go down. It sets the frame up, and then I'm going to turn it down. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Uh, let me go and put mine next to mine as well. So, you can see that is it going fast? to build craft, which has allowed these uh, quarries to accept pretty much any power and limited power. Is it working? So, 100 MJ per tick, this is going at a ridiculously quick speed. Wow. And, wow. <laughs> He's it's just... already done the bottom half of the frame. Wait, I don't know. Wait, is this... Um, let That's me awesome. see. My, mine's got stuff in the middle, so it has to, the little robot has to take him out first. Mine's already uh, done pretty much the entire frame. It's just got to do the last three sides, and that's it. Mm. <laughs> this is ridiculously quick. Now, I knew that this was quick when I tried it on a test world with the default size wow. quick, but I thought Look a 64 by 64 Go. would be a bit over the top, but... Yeah, this is uh, my guy right now. If you want to come over here before he's done, my little robot guy is just taking out all like the rubble in the way, and he look. is. You might want to be quickly because uh, he's just yes. he's just going to town. So I've got a bit he's of a fog down. on right now. Let me let me turn up my fog. <laughs> there you are. You're, you're coming over. Look at this guy go. Oh, I actually can't see anything at the moment because apparently your quarry isn't even there down yet. <laughs> um, I'm not over there. I'm look a bit to the. Uh, Look a bit to the west. Look direct to the uh, west. The you west. should see me. You're about 60 meters away from me. Yeah, I can see you. Oh, can't you see the quarry? Yeah, no, it's not placed yet on my screen. Try uh, relogging. It's just. Uh, yeah. Okay. One second. I'm gonna relog. BRB. You might want to be quick because this guy's gonna be quick. Oh, he's going. He's gone the last bit. <gasps> oh. Done, isn't he? You, you gotta get the last. Oh, last line. Oh, uh, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. It, he, it, oh, it no, he, he's doing something. Oh, wow. He's putting down all the um, bars. He is going mm. super quick. Let me turn this guy down, actually. I want to see sort of what speed he does when it's on the lowest. And Let's see if it's actually a difference of any sort. Mm. And, yeah, if you look in your um, redstone energy cell, he's mine's literally depleted mine. Like a, a, a mini bar. Let me just turn mine, mine down. Mine has Ooh, gone down two bars already. Okay then, so... Um, <gasps> wow. Yeah, I'm going to turn this down a little Wait. bit. I'm going to turn it down My output around. for that was at only 50. 50, <laughs> yeah. Well, I've turned mine down to 25, and that should be fine for this. <laughs> right, that is so quick. Let's go 15. I'm going to turn all mine all the way down. It's going to go a bit slower, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, 25. Yeah, he's still going You know what? Pretty turn quick. it down to 5, and it's still going really quick. Really? Yep, it's still going quite quick at five. Yep, but he seems to be going the same speed for me. Maybe but he will slow down. He's still got some power in it, but he will yeah, slow down. Yeah, I was say maybe he's got some stored. Um, anyway, whilst uh, they are setting up the frames, we're going to take the opportunity to start setting up some pipes and get them going. Yeah, I've to already my... set my pipes, so I've got mine going straight into the ender chest, mm. which is going to that sorting system back home, which should say slowed <laughs> because there's a well. Well, my, my my mini sorting system. Yes. The thing I've got. <laughs> well. Yeah, while you're setting them pipes up, you can uh, feel free to explain it. I'm going to make a cut in my video here while I fill this quarry up with water uh, in case it hits any lava. So yeah, it's going to be a very simple setup I'm going to have here. I'm not actually going to use these iron chests which I brought with me. I'm just going to have these cobblestone pipes literally coming out. We don't actually need a wooden pipe here because it will automatically pipe it out. And we're going to leave a little bit of room for improvement. Maybe we'll do something where different ores will go in different ender chests. I haven't really, as I said, I haven't re out my main base right now. But uh, if we just place this ender chest down right about here. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Filling in from the top. Um, you can see the, this cobble is coming from the turtle guys over there. But apart from that, when this is finished, this should now be... Let's see, is this going to be placing stuff into here come on show us it working she should be digging um 
Jack, do you know about the glitch? There's been a glitch recently where items don't show in pipes. Yeah. Have you uh, been experiencing this at all? No, nope, I've never had that problem. Hmm, so what's this guy doing over here? What are you doing? It'll... For me, it doesn't look like you're yeah. mining, but uh, for some reason he's just like... Is he going to the start of the building? Hmm. What? Right now, one of my... The quarry arm is just sort of moving, but not actually doing anything. That's weird. Oh, and he started. Okay, he started in one of the corners. Yeah, we'll go to the highest place possible. Um, it was also your flat out, wasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, so, um... I don't know, are we going to be recording the next bit, or...? Well, this... once I've filled my quarry up with water, I'm going to come back to my video. I basically cut it where I said I was going to mm. cut the video online. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to go from here. So, my name's been Stubbs, and we've finally got a quarry set up. I'm, I'm happy. I'm not going to mm. go with your water theme, because I don't... I don't know. I, I, I like to be able to see everything inside. But uh, yeah, anyway, as I said, my name's been Stubbs, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.